Hi guys. Okay, so my name's Hesha, and today I am going live with our beauty pageant oh, Ramsworth um, expert. Yay! Hi, Alicia. I was just talking hi. about you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm burning with the light. Yes, I that's think I'm absolutely now. fine. Yeah, you're better now. How are you? Doing fantastic. Coping up with the lockdown and no complaints till now. Yeah, no complaints till now. I know it's the same here as well. I'm absolutely enjoying the quarantine phase right now. What have you been doing? What's keeping you busy? Ah, uh, yes. The moment we were lockdown was announced, I had to figure out the household work. So I have a cooperative husband and the kids. So we divided the work amongst ourselves. I felt like big boss happening at home. <laughs> <laughs> then in the morning we do our regular household routine, and then we have our online sessions. So on the request, we started that, and I had stopped working out. So I try and work out and take care of myself. So that's how I'm keeping myself busy. And you're looking super fit and gorgeous. Thank you. So Thank that's like you. working out for you. That's so cool. So, Alisa, I was just telling um, the people who've tuned in, you know, that today um, I am doing this live with you just to sort of help all of those budding Miss Indias, you know, who would want to be a part of the beauty pageant industry. And I feel you'd agree with me when I say that that this is the best time to sort of work on yourself and like up your ramp walk game, right? What do you think? Ah uh, yes, we always complain we don't have time for preparation in any area. So let's utilize this in a positive way. Y'all have sources like social media and a lot of YouTube videos. Go yeah. through it and uh, master it. That's so true. So you know, Alicia, before we actually get into taking questions from the people who've tuned in, and I'm sure there might be a lot of people who would have a lot of questions because we got a lot of questions the minute we did like a story saying that you know we're going to have Alicia doing this live with us. I want to okay. play like a quick rapid fire with you to just lighten up the mood, you know. So are you ready yeah, for it? Yeah, I, I need that. <laughs> this is my first time I'm doing live, so yes, I need that too. Yeah. Okay. Great. So then, let's do like a quick, quick um, rapid fire round with you. So I'm going to ask you like four to five odd questions. Okay, and okay. you have to answer them in like five seconds, like as rapidly as you could. Okay. And okay. I'm telling you, I'm going to get a little detailed because I want to have like some dope about what you've been doing, like way before. Okay. So let's okay. start. Ready? Okay, guys. Yes. Hi. So uh, those of you asking me, my name's Hesha, and I am doing this um, live session with Alicia. And before we actually get into taking questions from you and have Alicia answer, you know, your questions and give us some tips on how you can better yourself and you know ace your ramp walk, I'm doing this quick rapid fire with her, which we're just about to start. So okay, Alicia, do you remember the first time you ever hit the ramp? Like, do you remember the date and the year? I don't remember the date, but I was definitely seventeen, and uh, it was for my choreographer Achla. She's my guru, so that was I think nineteen ninety seven. Yeah. Oh, that's quite accurate. I was you did remember. College. You did remember the year, though. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because and, after um, that. Sorry. Oh, right after that, you actually got. I went in a pageant. I went in a pageant called Look of the Year, nineteen ninety, where I met my choreographer Lumra Ma'am. So yeah, that's how I remember. Oh, okay, okay. And Alicia, okay, now tell me the second thing. Uh, would you remember three beauty queens that you sort of trained and groomed to become a ramp walk expert? Like name three of them, fast. Uh, okay. Um. Oh my God. Uh, Mansi Moge, uh, okay. Koyal Rana, and Suman Rao. I mean, Suman oh. is the recent one. Yeah, Suman is recent. recent. One. So yeah, but I've almost trained every international delegate. But these was the specific ones uh, that are in my mind because something about them I always learn. I'm a learner. It's, yeah. I not only teach but I also learn from my students. So I did learn something from everybody, but specifically from them I learned much more. Ah, that's very interesting, and that's a very good thing. Also, we all sort of you know exchange energies and learn from each other. And we're always learning. I feel. So yeah, yes. that's true too. Okay, um, Alicia, would you um, name five different types of walks for us? Like five different types of walks. So when we are walking as a model, we always get parameters—a character that you're supposed to execute when you are walking. So I'm okay. going to take those names: um, fun, attitude, sexy, Indian, and um, strong walk. So these are the parameters oh. we are always given. To walk, so they say you ha- we need a strong walk. So then we have to execute mm. that kind of a walk. But when we come to pageantry, I've heard mm. lots of names like um, tornado walk, lava walk, cobra walk. Mm. So those are the names I've heard in pageantry. Um, I can't relate to it much, but it's okay. It's fun to get associated with names. Yeah. 
And would you remember the time that you got associated with Miss India organization? Yes, I cannot forget that because <laughs> it was my birthday. It's the, the first day when I reported for my job. Uh, it was two thousand nine, twenty first December in Hyderabad. So I oh. can never forget this date. Yeah, because you've been associated with us for a very long time right now, and we keep like even the ones who are not a part of the pageant, we are very intrigued in you knowing certain stuff like that you talk about. So you know, getting to uh, the entire live session, you know, I would love for you to share what an ideal ramp walk training session with Alicia is like. You know, when somebody is already a part of the training and grooming session period, you know, for Miss India, what is it that goes through in the entire process when you're conducting these sessions? uh see a lot of uh, it's a mixed batch i take a collective batch uh, beat anywhere and mm. even if it's a collective uh, everybody gets an ind- individual attention from me because i have myself been a pageant girl and i have yeah. failed in every pageant so i know when you don't understand and when you don't succeed the feeling i'm aware about it so mm. i observe and understand uh, each and every student So we start a lot of with a lot of exercises to make them understand how to hold themselves up because the most important thing you need to know how to hold yourself up and throw your shoulder yeah. blades back. Then mm. the other things we face is walking in heels. So I need to help them understand how to uh, balance and walk in heels. So we do a lot of exercises around that area, and mm. because we end up doing a lot of exercise, the muscle memory is developed, and when they start walking, they are thinking less, they are performing more, and that's when their personality comes out. because okay. the whole idea is when you're walking you have to talk and you can only do it if you're aware about that particular subject and especially when you're talking also you have to be knowledgeable about that uh, subject and plus you need to also enjoy what you're doing then you will see that kind of an energy and aura yeah that's so true actually for anything i think you need to put in your heart energy soul everything but you know elisa tell me something you know i mean i'm sure there could be certain do's and don'ts uh, specifically when you're you know hitting the ramp when it comes to a beauty pageant you know are there any anything that you'd like you know about don't overdo to be yeah don't okay. overdo keep it simple simplicity at its best take a long stride hold yourself have that expression from your heart and not from your mind the more you think the less you're performing so enjoy from here and perform You know, and when we did this story that we're going to go live with you, I got a couple of questions which also address the fact that is it important to have a training in ramp walk before they enter the pageant, or like during the training and grooming period session? You know, it's good enough for you to sort of mold and groom a girl. It depends from person to person. Some people, uh, some contestants feel comfortable doing the training and coming. Some of them, uh, when they are doing the training with Miss India, they just just pick it up like this and they perform better. but it's always advisable to be knowledgeable about you, what you're yeah. going for if you're going for an interview you would always want to do your research you would want to practice and then only you'll go for your interview to perform the best so i would always advise do some sort of training if time is your enemy at that very moment not now at that yeah. very moment then miss india miss diva we train them to that level but then again it goes from person to person it's not mm. the training just with me it's up to me also you have to keep continuing practice so that you can make up for all those number of walks and hours that you have missed the more you practice yeah. the better you become that's true that's actually very true so alicia you know right now as you very rightly said that you know time is not an enemy right now because we've got ample of time right now to sort of just better our skills and up our game what should one do at this given point in time because you know when you're going for a pageant i think now is the time when you can actually pre prepare you know like preparation will happen once you're there but this is the time where you can sort of utilize and gain all the added extra knowledge so what can be a girl's source of knowledge uh, in training themselves right now at home uh you'll have the social media you'll have the youtube go through the q and a's of so many years that's the best way to know what is expected when you go for an audition you mm. always have to uh, speak about yourself work on that part and then you have to talk uh and your fitness these are the areas that you try and master it right now with the time that you have yeah and uh, whenever as a judge we see somebody we can always make out a person that you can mold them and they'll be um they'll be able to cope up with the training that we give them in that span of time they have True. that eye so come come prepared how much you can if you don't then when you're going for the audition give it your 100 percent with full confidence and leave it to the judges to see that in you and when it comes to ramp walk what is it that they can do at home right now to prep themselves up 
Uh, you can go old school way, just put a book on your head and walk, try and take long strides. So you'll get used to the, your posture getting corrected. Yeah. Uh, that's what I would advise you all to do. Okay, that is so- how we did old school. We used to have a book on our head and we used to walk so that your body alignment was always better. You know, so somebody's just asked a question that should they practice at home wearing heels? Always. If you think uh, heels is uh, going to be uncomfortable for the first time, start flat footed without any mm. heels. Slowly, slowly, gradually go onto your toes and then wear your heels and walk. You will see a difference. One, okay. two, three. Some of them who are used to wearing heels, they can walk in heels immediately when you start training them. But the ones who have not wore heels, it takes time for them to understand. So we go gradually with them. True. You know, Raksha is also asking that how can one correct their shoulder posture? I think that's a great question. Push yourself against the wall and stand or put a book on your head. Oh, okay. That, it's all that's about the cool. posture. Ballerinas, they're always tall. We mm. do yoga. Yoga is Indian form of exercising. You yeah. automatically know your core and your shoulder blades are going to be properly in a position. So you need to train those muscles. And, you know, would you like put in sort of a number, like, you know, X number of hours you should practice or maybe even a few, like, I don't know, how, what would you advise these girls? At least an hour. When I train mm-hmm. the international delegates, Miss India, Miss Diva, to practice with me for three hours. And trust yeah. me, I don't allow them to sit maybe just one or two minutes of a break. Yeah. Okay. You know, somebody is asking Trisha. Hi, Trisha. She's asking, did you train Adeline for her auditions? <laughs> uh, I think Adeline is right now also getting trained by Alicia. I think it's just a gradual process. Am I right, Alicia? I think you guys still have your sessions on going with Adeline. Yes, we are having our online sessions on. Um, they are very good students. We are able to understand each other through online sessions mm. also. So they're making okay. my job not difficult, but we are on the same page right now. You know, Joyta has sent another question. She's saying how to control the hand movements while walking. Oh, I think that's a pretty cool question as well. Uh, you uh, go with your legs. The moment your heel goes front, you take your hand front and let the level be one person. And automatically your hands will not fly. But if you think it's still flying, just take uh, two bottles of water. I mean, just take a bottle of water in each hand and walk with it. Oh, okay. You know, I think after this live, I'm going to be inspired to just better my posture and better my walk because you never know how important these things are. I mean, even other than prepping for a pageant or otherwise, right? So Harshita has asked how to have a better posture. I guess, Alicia, you've already answered that question, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so is there anything else that you want to add to Harshita because she's asked the question the second time? Uh, How to correct your posture? Yeah. How to better Um, it also, yeah. You need to know how to pull your core up and throw your shoulder blades back. The best way that I said, push yourself against the wall. The moment you Mm. do that, your shoulder, your hips, your heels will be touching the uh, wall. You need to hold that posture for at least good one minute first, two minutes, gradually increase to five minutes. You create a muscle memory and then you step forward and try and walk. Automatically, you will sense that. See, If you see a ballerina walking, you will always see her upright. If you see a Bharat Natyam holding, you'll always see her one knee bend because she's used yeah. to squatting half of the time. So those are the muscle memories. So create your muscle memory with the help of the tip that I've just given you. There's no shortcut. Every day you practice, you will see results. But if you practice now and then decide to do it after one month, you have to start from scratch. Oh, yeah, that's, that's, I think practice is definitely key. So, Alicia, one more question um, that I found very interesting here was from Sona that she's saying that should we crisscross our feet while walking? No, you're not supposed to cross your leg like an X and walk. When you're walking, you're maintaining a line. To maintain a line, you just have to take a foot in front of each other. So mm. what I can advise is draw a line or uh, we have tiles. See, you can see that line and walk on that line. Automatically, you'll be walking the correct way. But always remember, if your walk has to look stronger, your strides are important. If you're mm. a 5'7", walk like a 5'9". If you're a 5'5", five, five, walk like a 5'7". Automatically, you will look stronger. Yeah. And also, Alicia, you know, if you're extremely new, let's say, you know, and uh, you pretty much do not have any knowledge or you've not aced your basic walks yet or even, um, you know, you don't know what kind of heels to opt for. So Pooja uh, has asked this question. She's asking, uh, what type of heel one should be wearing, especially if you're a beginner? 
Okay, um, I, I'm sorry, I'm going to name a brand because I vouch for that brand, Charlton Keith. You can go for four inches heels of that brand, uh, ankle strap, peep toes. Try and buy those heels. And when you walk, try doing heel toes, heel toes while walking. Automatically, you'll be able to walk. Okay. And um, I have another question that asks you uh, to address. How is it that one manages their speed while they're walking in heels? Rhythmic sense. When you listen to music, you will always hear a prominent beat. Take that beat and walk. When you dance, don't you dance with the beat? So when yeah. you walk, follow the beat. And automatically, the grace will come because you're walking rhythmic. That's so true. You know, I found this question extremely intriguing because it's from a guy and his name's Pratyush Maheshwari. Pratyush, hi. Thank you so much for your question. He's asking, ma'am, for males walk while you're on the ramp and walking. Should you give a look to the left and right or side at a small angle? <laughs> <laughs> okay, it totally depends on your audience. Uh, so if there's a ramp and you have audience uh, seated on both the sides, then you may look left and right and then you can look front, but it totally depends on your choreographer's input also. And if they don't say anything, then you can go ahead and look right and left and in the center or just keep looking. But as a model, you're supposed to look in the front only. Isn't that a super cool question? I'm just realizing that while we are watching any show or any sort of a ramp walk, our interest is so one dimensional, but there's so many other dimensions that sort of the person who's actually doing the walk has to keep in mind. So, it's pretty informative and intriguing. I hope each one of you guys who've tuned to watch this live, you know, is actually making mental notes or noting it down, you know, because I think these are some super cool informative tips, Alicia. I'm very excited for, you know, even upping my knowledge over this. So, okay. um, Alicia, Aditi is also asking how to ace in twirls while walking. Okay, uh, twirl is something you have to, I have to literally show, which I'm not going to show right now. <laughs> <laughs> you, um, but uh, once you know the technique, you have to cross and then uncross your leg. So the moment mm. you cross and uncross your leg, you'll be able to twirl. But first, uh, go slow. Do it slowly so that you don't lose your balance. The moment you don't lose your balance, you level up. And then okay. you will find a balance which makes it comfortable and which looks uh, comfortable, like... Uh, Caterino, she did it very slowly but there was one Miss Universe she went like a tornado and that mm. became a fashion so what I'm trying to say when you twirl you will always figure out that this style suits me and I want to do it this way it's just like learning A in nursery and doing your A when you reach your 10th standard learn okay. the basic and then create your style around that basic so Jannath is asking is movement of shoulders important or not you're not supposed to move your shoulder. You're mm. supposed to move your waist while walking. If you move your shoulder, you look like this. You're not boys. You're supposed to move your hands front without moving the shoulder up and down. No doing seesaw with your shoulder. Your okay. arm has to move when you're walking. Okay. Nitya Alicia is asking for how many seconds should you hold your head ramp pose? See, when a person is seeing you for the first time, understand those people have to register your personality, register a lot of things about you when you reach the head jam. Mm. Four seconds is advisable. You can hold more than four, maybe six. But when you reach the head jam, try and look at the center judge. Connect mm. through your eyes and then acknowledge the remaining judges. The moment you acknowledge all the judges, you will be holding much more longer than the four seconds that I've mentioned. So if I have okay. two people, wouldn't I look at everybody? Wouldn't I give important to everybody? I need score from them. So look at everybody and talk to them through your eyes and your smile. Automatically, you will be holding much more longer. Okay. So um, Kushi is asking, how should your expressions be throughout? From your heart. When you're happy, you feel it. When you're confident, you feel it. So you have to say things to yourself before entering. You need to get into the character of your personality. So I always advise before entering, you talk to yourself. You imagine what you want to be when you walk the ramp. Do not get distracted with people around you and start admiring, oh, she's, got, she's taller, she's wearing better black cocktails, oh, her hair is better, her makeup. You are distracting, mm. you are, uh, you're attracting negativity. Rather, use your USP. Enter with the smile. Remember those moments that made you happy. Remember those moments that made you feel confident. And enter with that uh, thought process from your heart and not from your mind. You know, Alicia, the next question is so relatable to me. I mean, 
not that i am doing any kind of ramp walking but it's sometimes it does happen to all of us even when you're entering like a party right so mansi has actually yeah. asked this question she's like my legs shake when i walk what do i do and trust me it happens to me as well sometimes i don't know whether i'm nervous i think that mostly happens when you're nervous you nervous. know i feel like my calves are trembling so uh, is there anything that you can do yes you're nervous so our body always uh, gives out a signal saying that you are nervous either your pinky will go out or your hands will stick out so we, we i understand those mm. nervous and anxiety when you're walking uh, or your legs are weak so you need to strengthen your legs also so these are those two things that you can uh, think of working around see it's all a mind game you mm. have to train your mind to be as calm as possible before entering That's that is true. why uh, we say we do say do meditation do twin heart do yoga anything that helps you calming yourself down just before entering or taking your mom's name or your parents name or anything that calms you down and when you enter you will see that you are not nervous so please mind game Alicia you know um first of all i would like to say that raksha i hope wherever you are stuck during this lockdown you are safe and i hope you get to um you know getting all your belongings really soon so alicia raksha has posted a question saying that during lockdown we're all stuck some other place so she doesn't really have her heels right now with her so how is it that she can practice without heels walk on your toes if you can balance on your toes any inches you wear you'll be able to walk in it Hmm. That's that's true. Okay, I have we've got another guy who sent us a question and that's Abhinav. So Abhinav's asking if Alicia you could slightly elaborate a little more about how to ace the practice of keeping a book on your head and improving your posture in the walk. The moment you put the book on your head, right? You tend to balance. Because you're balancing your body alignment becomes straighter, which means hmm. every body muscle, be it your core, your shoulder has to go in a particular angle. to hold that book not to fall off and when you start to walk automatically you're training your muscles to be in the right place okay so elisa is this a myth or it is actually a true fact that does being tall help in you know walking on the ramp and that's also a question that's come to us from mikhaya hi mikhaya okay when it comes to modeling yes we want girls who are taller so from modeling point of view you have to be 5 7 above because the silhouette of that particular garment on a tall model is much more visible for a person who's seeing in the audience but malaika who was 5 4 or 5 5 i'm sorry i'm not getting the height right now when she walked everybody just looked at her she carried that with full confidence during that era Mm. So for modeling I'm sorry that's the criteria that has been set I can't change it I'm only following it but even if you're 5 five, five you can still be taller if you know how to hold your height You know Alicia Trisha also has asked a very interesting question which says what kind of songs should one play while practicing ramp walk When it comes to your first round uh, be it your shots or bikini Miss India Miss Diva fun song anything that keeps you happy but when it comes to your cocktail more of an evening gown song a little bit uh, slow not slow dead slow like a medium pace so automatically mm. uh, the difference in the so bikini or short a little bit fun and uh, your cocktail a little bit medium pace you know elisa there's also while i'm taking all these questions for you i'm reading the amount of love all of the people are oh. sending you so um elisa i think you should just send okay. the love back to them what is it that you say to them they all saying lovely things about you thank you very much uh will that's a form of an energy that i need so that i can continue uh teaching uh everybody and hopefully everybody who's logged in i should be able to teach you also get in touch with me and uh, take care of yourself be safe uh, be positive and always remember you are never a loser unless you try quitting yeah you know um so getting back to the questions because there's so <laughs> many questions right now for you alicia okay. Okay, okay i don't intend to get you tired but uh, you know i'm just picking some of the questions i'm just focused on you <laughs> i'm not even, i don't want to do i'm just looking at you and listening to you carefully <laughs> so um alicia varsha has uh, she wants to know how to correct forward neck posture and rounded shoulders wow i 
push yourself against the wall and get your posture correct the moment you do your basic of your posture which is pushing your wall automatically you will not go front because your muscle is already trained to be in a particular way mm. so even if you are this you push yourself against the wall you become straight that's so true so that's the that's i think yeah that that pretty much you know when you're talking i'm also sort of imagining it so i feel this is pretty much a virtual ramp walk session that i'm doing with you like a training session with you so um you know i have another question here from vaishnavi who's saying that hello ma'am what to do when you experience a sudden leg cramp while on the ramp oh oh my god okay uh, that has happened to me also uh okay because you've not drank water you have salt less so make sure that you hydrate yourself throughout the day um, mm. go back to your basics please eat drink the normal way but if it happens uh, i always say do not react respond mm. um you can obviously uh, remove your heels immediately and uh, rub your feet it's okay people understand you'll be taken to the side that's the best immediate solution i can give it to you but otherwise make sure that when you go for your audition you're drinking eating everything properly so that such situations don't take place hmm tricky one huh? pretty much very tricky so um elisa sakshi is asking how to keep our legs straight because while walking sometimes her knees tend to bend and it kind of looks awkward so how can she better that's that that's called locked knee we call them lock knee because you're not used to wearing heels the moment you wear heels you tend to bend your knee like this mm. right so you need to walk on your toes if you practice walking on your toes you automatically will be able to straight, uh, make it straight okay and priya is asking that is pageant walk di- different from a fashion show model walk yeah. yeah yes it is different uh, pageant is more to do with who you are So in India we don't do a lot of drama. We keep mm. it a little bit simple. We take longer strides. We move a little bit of our waist, not much, because we want the expression to speak a little bit more. But when you go internationally, on the basis of the contest, uh, I teach them the style. But when it comes to modeling, we want the garments to be important. But we are also given the parameters. So mm. we do not do much of drama unless otherwise that particular designer or garment wants us to execute in that language. Okay. And is there any particular different kind of a pose or an expression, an attitude or a smile that one needs to carry? That's the question I've got in next. What uh, out of these three would you pick? A pose, an expression or a smile? Aura. The aura that you carry. Because when you walk, that's the maximum time I see so the energy the confidence the way you mm. believe in yourself when you walk i see it more but when you come to the head ramp i see your eyes your expression the connection more so for me when you yeah. walk i see the energy and the confidence and when you stop in the head ramp i would look at the person connecting with me and talking to me through her eyes okay and alicia any particular tips to sort of boost your confidence and attitude somebody is asking for me confidence is knowledge the moment you buckle up your knowledge you'll be able to feel comfortable in it because you know you're heading the right direction so alicia with these questions again there are many people who still feel that you should be a part of miss india <laughs> and um, <laughs> okay that's so cool and it's like you should, you can still be a part of miss india and win the pageant you look lovely they're sending a lot of love these tips are super helpful we're already taking down notes wow alisa you're getting a lot of love and i'm so happy that we're doing this live together thank you as i mentioned you this is the first time i'm doing it and you made me comfortable uh, when i was taking my session i'm like okay let me give it a try i'm a person i don't give up i always try i may fail but i always uh, accept it gracefully i work on it and i come back strong so that is also something that i've learned from my students every time i train them that's so sweet elise yeah you know um there are a lot of male people also who tuned in who are showing interest in being a part of male pageant and that's pretty interesting so a uh, couple of tips for uh, somebody who wants to be a part of a male pageant what is it that they should be doing because i'm sure the walk their walk is way different from a girl's walk so any do's and don'ts for them that you'd like to highlight don't move your shoulders too much try and take longer stride boys because then only your walks will look stronger and yes speak please speak otherwise when it comes to walking for boys it's much more simpler because they don't have to balance on the heels as compared to the girls ah and what is it that you know um, could possibly be the common thing for a girl walk and a guy walk i really would want to know common thing 
Okay, um, common thing. Can you elaborate a little bit more for me? <laughs> that, that like, question? like you know, like sometimes you know there has to be something that could be the same for both. You know, a guy's walk as well as a girl's walk. It could not be also. But I'm just trying mm. to ask. You know, there's nothing that's no. common. No, no. I think confidence, no, no. other than being confident. I mean, but that's oh that way. Yeah, that way. Yeah, that way. Yes, definitely. There's no substitute to that because that's your X factor. When you look out for the X factor, that is that. That's Everybody would always ask me, "What is that one thing that they look in a contestant?" Mm. I'm like saying, the way you present yourself. If you walk in like a diva, you walk in already like a winner. Yeah. We will sense that thing in a person. So mm. first, you need to convince yourself that you are in that page. Then only I'll you'll be able to convince me. You know, and another um, guy is asking us, "What is it that he should be doing while at the head ramp? Attitude or smile?" Okay. <laughs> okay, it depends which round you are at that very moment. So, if you are wearing your trunks, or let's say you're going for your uh, first round of uh, pageant, you're wearing your jeans. So, mm. you would always want a person to smile. Because that's the first thing that, that when you do a person, you win person's heart. So smile yeah. when you reach in the headroom. Just smile. Imagine you like the girl and you're trying to tell her that. So smile. Wow, wow! I think Alicia, these were way too many tips. You know that I think one sort of absorbed even in like a virtual session. I can only imagine when they're actually a part of the training and grooming period, and you know they're in that process of being a part of Miss India and the journey or a diva. you know there's so much that one would be absorbing and of course practicals as well right yes there's one person who is asked i'm sorry uh, which is your best smile well remember that moment when somebody made you happy and you gave your best smile sometimes if a full smile can be somebody's best smile but that may yeah. be not your best smile so will you record yourself and you will know the answer yourself if that smile makes another person smile or no Yeah, I think that would be pretty cool as well to do, right? Like you actually start recording your practices from the very first day that you start, and then maybe after like a month or so that you keep going back to it and analyzing how you sort of bettered your walk, right? I think that's something that they the can do. You have the best thing. We never had this. I had to wait for five, seven years to actually see how I walk. I could only imagine what my choreographers used to keep saying: don't run or slow down or pose in a particular way. You all have. every source right now make use of it please source and time also i feel this is just the app time to sort of blend both of the thing these things together and you know like just up their game and he said okay before we um end this live you know i would just love for you to take us down your memory lane your journey you know how you prepped and you know you are an expert right now the hardships maybe that you must have faced or what your tough challenging moments and how did you come out of it you pushed yourself to be where you are right now I was body shamed the way I looked because of my height, and I was super skinny. And because of that, I was a very introvert person, and I could never say no. And then, thank God, I could not say no because my mom thought I should be a part of a contest called Look of the Year, and that's where I got my training from. Uh, Achla Sardey, Bluvna, ma'am, Noinika, ma'am, and that's when I realized my height is my forte, my dancing skill are my forte, my being an athlete are my forte because. in this profession i could utilize all of that while walking yeah. while dancing while posing i did try a couple of more contests and i failed in every contest but every time i failed i had this uh, burning desire to prove myself that i'm worth something and that's when i got the opportunity to train miss india or be a part of times of india i said yes because it was my way of fulfilling my dream of being a part of miss india and giving back to girls who cannot afford or who cannot understand or need help so that was my one of the um, way of coming back and teaching everybody and it gives me sheer uh, pleasure in teaching everybody because the moment they said my my reward is when they say ma'am i have confidence i've gained confidence and i can walk properly that is my reward and you produce so many iconic faces and winners right now so we love you for that and i hope we can do more of such informative sessions with you really soon and 
thank you so much alicia for removing time to do this live it was definitely informative you know while we are coming to the end of it i also see that a lot of people um are requesting us to sort of save this live so don't worry guys to whoever who stuck around till the end i will definitely be saving this live so as you can utilize this and watch it later so yeah uh, thank you alicia it was lovely talking to you yet again i hope we connect soon and yeah keep safe and see you again yes thank you very much take care Take care. Bye. Bye. Bye guys. It's me Hisha signing off. Bye bye.